it's probably risky to start talking about uh, the challenges in uh, globalization and legal education without first uh, start uh, setting a point of departure. My point of, of departure is the Brazilian law school and Brazilian legal education. My view is that, uh, first of all, Brazilian legal education is, is divided in two different kinds of legal education. We have in Brazil today almost uh, 1,200 law schools. Most of them are uh, oriented for mass legal education. I have the privilege to be a law professor in two of the most prestigious law uh, schools in Brazil, Universidade de São Paulo and Direito GV Law School. Uh, in these institutions, I have the privilege to have very smart students, and my challenges there as a legal uh, professor is to especially uh, teach legal theory and ethics. In my view, uh, as a disciplines, I usually tend to uh, put some emphasis on developing analytical skills for students. This means that, in my view, it's very important to overcome some kind of very broad, shallow uh, uh, legal analysis of conceptual complex texts that are commonly used in in classes on legal theory. What I mean by this, instead of, of for example, um, analyzing different kinds of texts, many different perspectives altogether, I tend to privilege some kind of in-depth analysis of conceptual complex texts. Besides, this, besides uh, improving this analytical skills in reading and uh, explaining the conceptual uh, structure of a text, I think it's also important to invite students to discuss more freely some more hot issues concerning morality and, in a sense, developing their skills on, uh, on thinking, analyzing in a more critical and reflective way what is to, uh, un, um, what, is, what are the values that we, we should care about, what makes uh, their life as professionals in law meaningful, and what is their engagement in the legal profession and, in legal, uh, and how they engage themselves in their country. I believe that besides putting uh, a lot of stress in making some kind of technological uh, skills, I mean, learning how to analyze the positive law, learning more uh, non-legal subjects such as economics, statistics, accounting, or, or, or even management skills. It's also important to put an emphasis in uh, showing the students what are the problems they are going to face in this new globalized world in which the law has some new roles. Uh, I'd like to stress that, and this is a kind of platitude, but it's important to stress it, uh, globalization is very selective, segmented, and very diversified. This means that talking something about globalization means that we should first think about what is globalization in a specific setting, such as, for example, the Brazilian setting, and more specifically even, uh, what is globalization, for example, environmental protection in Brazil, for corporate law in Brazil, and what are the connections, what are the impacts that globalization makes in uh, Brazilian life and in Brazilian law. Well, let me now be more specific and I'd like to talk something about my experience as a l professor of ethics and legal theory. As I said before, I think it's important to train students on how to read carefully and analyze accurately complex uh, texts and complex arguments. I think that uh, quite often in uh, Brazilian law schools, uh, the emphasis on these courses is mostly uh, oriented towards training lawyers, training students on how to be sophists instead of uh, being capable of, of analyzing more uh, complex arguments. In a way, I would say that, in general, 
the sophists are beating Socrates in Brazilian law schools. I think it's important to uh, offer some kind of antidote to this uh, usual trend. Uh, another aspect that I think it's important is that together with this kind of sophistry training that is quite common in Brazilian law schools, I think uh, that it's another side effect, something that comes together uh, which is very uh, important, and I think that in disciplines such as legal theory and ethics, we should try to uh, re react against them. Uh, I'm, what I have in mind is some kind of relativism and some kind of even cynicism that is quite often found among the imagination of, of some of the, our students. I think it's very important to, uh, in a way, force the students in terms of uh, putting them in the position to challenge the kind of cynical view of the engagement in the Brazilian society and uh, also in moral and political issues. Not only concerning the society, the community in which they are um, included, but also their uh, moral and political responsibilities concerning their own personal lives. I think this is very important, and I think that uh, the law schools is a very important place in which this kind of issues should be discussed and uh, taught. Uh, in my classes, I usually try to use some uh, techniques that I think are very useful for this kind of training. I think it's important to improve in law schools. For example, I usually demand the students to prepare a very brief presentation of the most important uh, concepts of uh, an important text they are analyzing. Students are also required to present a handout uh, showing the, structural, uh, the structure of a, of a text and the concepts inside this text. And after this presentation, I uh, usually encourage the students to debate uh, what are the arguments and what are the positions concerning uh, the most difficult and, uh, issues in this text. Well, to sum up my position concerning globalization, the challenges of globalization poses to legal education, I think that it's important, first, to offer more interdisciplinary approach for legal education. Second, to train our students uh, in, uh, to have more differentiated skills and especially to train them to be capable of uh, being able to learn more every day. Globalization is very diversified. There is no content, uh, fixed content for globalization. So the students, the global lawyer, should be able to learn in many different things in many different contexts. And finally, I think it's as a professor of legal ethics, it's very important Never to forget the importance of uh, discussion, discussing uh, moral issues and issues concerning their uh, personal responsibilities in order to uh, offer them uh, a, a broader uh, repertoire for thinking about what, is, uh, what are the ways by which they can have a meaningful life through and by law.